Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the Medheaven Market Bag and it's using Lion Brand Cotton Reup Yarn and it's pretty easy. We're going to start at the bottom and work a few rounds of increases and then we will move on to the stitch pattern that consists of the fan stitch and V stitch and then what you'll do is alternate that stitch for about 13 rows and then we will do the half double crochet border and then I'll show you how I make the straps and you can always make the straps longer by adding more chains. Here's the inside. It looks small but what I like about this bag is that it has really good stretch to it and it'll go back to shape so it can hold a lot and also go back to its original shape so it stays looking nice. Today I'm going to be using my leftover yarn. I have these two different blue colors and I'm going to use the darker one for the main color and then the lighter greenish blue for the accent. You will need a size USI 5.5 millimeter crochet hook as well as some stitch markers. So we'll begin with the magic circle. If you need a slower tutorial for this, I will link it below. And this is how I do mine. Insert the hook underneath the first strand, grab the second strand of yarn, and then gently pull your fingers out and leave that loop open. And this will be the magic circle. Chain two, and then you will work 10 half double crochets into the magic circle. Once you have completed your 10 half double crochets, this is what it will look like. And then you're going to take the tail and pull it tight and that will close the circle. Then we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch or the top of the chain. Row two, we're going to chain two and place two half double crochets into each stitch around. So we will begin with the half double crochet into the same stitch as your chain. That's one, and then two, and then place two half double crochets into the next and in each stitch around. Once you're finished with the stitches, you're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain. And we will do this for every row moving forward. Row three, we are going to chain two and place two half double crochets into the same stitch as your chain the very first one. There's one and two. 
Then we're going to place one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then after that we'll place two half double crochet stitches in the following stitch. And then we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So here is one half double crochet. Moving on to the next stitch, we're going to place two half double crochet stitches. Then repeat this pattern around to increase. To row four, we're going to begin with chain two, place two half double crochets into that very first stitch, then you'll place one half double crochet into the next two stitches, so one here and one here. Then in the next stitch we're going to place two half double crochets and repeat this pattern for the rest of the row. To row five, chain two, place two half double crochet stitches in that first stitch. Then place one half double crochet into the next three. In the next stitch you'll place two half double crochets and repeat this pattern until the end of the row. Row six we will begin with chain two, place two half double crochets into the same stitch, then we're going to half double crochet once into the next two stitches. So one half double crochet into the next stitch, move on to the next one half double crochet, move on to the next, place two half double crochets. And for this row when it comes to increasing by placing the two half double crochets into one stitch, you are only going to do that 14 times. And then at the very end, you will have 10 half double crochet stitches to finish. So you will continue this increasing pattern and end up with 14 groups of two half double crochets and then finish with 10 half double crochets. So now I have finished the 14 increases and I'm going to finish this row with one half double crochet into the next 10 stitches.
So after we finish our increasing circle, we will begin this stitch pattern, which is a fan stitch and a V stitch. And we will skip a few stitches in between. And then you will just alternate this pattern for about 13 rows. So to begin, we will chain three and then place one double crochet into that same stitch as your chain. Chain one, place another double crochet into that same stitch and this will create the V stitch. Next we will skip three stitches, one, two, three, and place five double crochets into the following stitch. We will skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then place a double crochet into the following stitch, chain one, and another double crochet into that same stitch. Continue alternating the fan stitch and the V stitch and separating each one by three stitches. At the end of this row, you should end with a fan stitch and have three left over and you're going to place one double crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch to close. So continuing on to the next row, we are going to use the same stitches um, but alternate them. So chain three and place five double crochets into the chain space of the V stitch. you're going to skip three stitches and place the V stitch in the very middle of the fan stitch. So double crochet into the top of the fan and then chain one and then double crochet into that same stitch. So continue alternating the fan stitch and V stitch until the end of the row. Once you reach the end of this row, you will finish it with a V stitch and a double crochet.
continuing on to the next row, we are just going to continue alternating these two rows until we reach the desired length, which I have made um, into 13 rows, but you can do it for however many you'd like. So chain three and place a V stitch at the top of your previous fan stitch. And then place five double crochets into that chain space of the previous V stitch. At the end of this row, you will have one more fan stitch and then you will place a double crochet into the very last stitch of the row and you will actually do that for each row moving forward. And then slip stitch to close. Once you have alternated these two rows for 13 rows total, you can get started on the half double crochet border. So to begin, you will chain two, half double crochet into the same stitch as your chain, and half double crochet into each stitch and chain space moving forward. So this was a chain space stitch the next few stitches and only one half double crochet into that chain space of the previous V stitch. this row you will slip stitch to close and we will do two rows of single crochets. So for this row you're going to chain one, single crochet into the same stitch as your chain and in each stitch around until you reach the end where you will slip stitch to close. Beginners may want to leave a stitch marker in that very first stitch. Sometimes it's hard to see with the single crochet. Here's the end of our first row of single crochet stitches, slip stitch to close. Then chain one to begin your next row, single crochet into the same stitch as your chain and in each stitch around. At the end of the row you will slip stitch to close and then we will begin the row that starts the straps. Now we will chain one, single crochet into that same stitch as your chain and single crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we will chain to make the strap. You can chain as many as you'd like, but I chose to do 45. 
Sorry, it went off camera. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to crochet underneath a camera. <laughs> Once you have reached your desired length, it's time to attach it to the other side. So I like to unfold mine and kind of match up the edges there. In this pattern, I skipped 20 stitches and I just turned the stitch towards me so I can see the top of that V stitch. And I like to pinch each one as I count so I can keep track. So here I'm counting 20 stitches, and in the 21st, I'm going to insert my hook and do a single crochet. Now you will single crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're going to repeat what you did on this side for this handle or strap, whatever you want to call it. And you will chain the same amount. So I'm going to chain 45. And once you are finished chaining, you are going to single crochet into the very first stitch that you made for the last handle. So I think I was off by one stitch and honestly it doesn't really matter much to me um, if it's off by one or two stitches as long as the handles match up and everything looks good then if it's off by one stitch it's not a big deal to me but um, if it is to you then make sure that you mark out where you want your straps to be exactly and I'm just going to single crochet into that first stitch where the um, stitch marker is. So after you attach with a single crochet, you're going to single crochet into the following stitches place your stitch marker there to keep your spot. Make sure that everything is matching up. Now we will continue single crocheting into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Sorry for going off camera again. And now we are going to single crochet around the strap that we made previously. So we're not going to go into the stitch, but we're going to single crochet around it. And here's a little trick that I do. I, well, if you're standing, I put the bag in between my hips and the countertop and that just kind of gives you really good tension so you can have even stitches around your handles. So you will do as many single crochets as you did chains. So since I chained 45, I'm going to do 45 single crochets. Once you're finished with those single crochets, you'll notice that it's a little bit bunched up and you have some room left over. So what I like to do is place a stitch marker into that loop and then I'm just going to pull or push and just manipulate the stitches over and make them even out.
now we're just going to single crochet into the nearest stitch. Continue to single crochet into the next stitches and then we're going to single crochet over the next handle. So because I chained 45, I'm going to do 45 single crochets. very last row. You can continue this as many times as you'd like if you would like thicker straps. I thought this was just enough for this little market bag. So what we're going to do is just continue single crocheting into the following stitch and then in each stitch that we made over our handles. So here are the stitches we just made over the top of our handles and it's just like a regular stitch in any other row and you're just going to continue the single crochet stitch all the way around until you reach that stitch marker where you will do a slip stitch to close completely. Here we are at the very end and I'm just going to slip stitch right here and then I'm going to cut my yarn and then pull the tail through to close it all the way. left to do now is to weave in your ends. So turn your bag inside out, grab your darning needle, and weave in all of your loose ends. you enjoyed this tutorial today if you did please like and maybe leave a comment or share this on Pinterest Facebook Instagram um, here's the inside of the bag 
Again, I think the size is pretty cool. It seems small, but it has really good stretch to it. And I'll show you the previous yellow one that I made. I've actually used it a few times now and it has kept its shape really well. And I think that's because of the cotton, the Re-Up Cotton Yarn by Lion Brand. It's really sturdy, but somehow stretchy at the same time. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and check back for more tutorials soon. Happy crocheting!